We saw how you're able to provide a mock version of Axios to avoid making the real HTTP call. However, this is not always going to be practical, especially if you have a very large component hierarchy with many API calls to various external resources. You might want to just ignore a component entirely because it's not related to what you're testing. What I'm going to do is delete this test down here, jump up here and delete the before each, as well as deleting my mock get here and save this off. We see both these tests are going to pass, but we have the error here about the network error. And we, we could mock Axios here, but that's not really the most practical thing to do, especially since we don't really care about Axios in this particular test. We just want to avoid making the API call altogether. There is another way of doing this. What we're going to do is see how you can use the global stubs mounting hook, and this is going to allow us to completely ignore a component. What I'm going to do is jump in here and pass in a stubs key, and this is going to allow us to stub out a component. So what this means is we can provide an alternative implementation, or we completely ignore a component if we'd like to as well. What I'm going to do is stub out the fetcher component, so I'm going to pass in fetcher here, and I'm going to provide an alternative implementation. In this case, I'm going to provide a component with a template, and it's going to have a span. If I go ahead now and save this off, you can see that error is now gone. And just to show you exactly what this is doing, I'm going to jump down here and do a console log on the wrapper.html and show you what's been rendered. You can see it is now rendering this span down here because I provided an alternative implementation of the fetcher component to be a span instead. Sometimes you don't really want to do this. What you can do is just pass in fetcher true, and this is going to provide a default stub. And you can see here it's saying fetcher stub. It's replacing the fetcher component with a completely boring component, a fetcher stub component, which does absolutely nothing at all. You may encounter some very weird things here sometimes. For example, if I put a lowercase f, this is not going to work as you expect. I get some kind of very strange error. So what I would recommend doing here is using a name key in your component if you really want to stub out a specific component. For example, if I change this to be AAA, this obviously is not going to work. And if I head over to my component now, my fetcher component, what I'm going to do is give this an explicit name of AAA. If I go ahead now and save this off, everything is going to work as expected and I'm getting my span down here as well. What this is going to do is look in the stubs, look at the key and try and match up the name with any component in the component hierarchy. In this case, it's matching up the name here and it's going to stub out that component and everything is going to work as expected. So I would really recommend using name if you'd like to stub out a specific component. In this case, I'm going to call it fetcher, head back to my component and change this one to be fetcher as well, just to be as explicit as possible. And this is going to help me avoid any strange things in the future. I also don't really care about this particular component. So what I'm going to do is just pass in fetcher true and that's going to give me my default stub. And I think this is a little bit nicer to look at and a little bit clear what is going on.